Ukrainian troops attacked Russian Army's air defense position near the Mospino airport in eastern Donetsk region on Wednesday, a local telegram channel reported. According to the report, the attack was carried out with the use of five Atakms ballistic missiles at around 12.50. The attack inflicted heavy losses on Russian troops. Thus, two S-300, S-400 air defense missile launchers and radar 96L-6E were destroyed. One S-300, S-400 air defense missile launcher was damaged. Ukrainian air defense forces also destroyed the control center of the S-300, S-400 air defense system in the area. There are no casualties among personnel of the Ukrainian defense forces. It should be noted that according to the information provided by the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces, Russia lost 1, 3,000 servicemen in the past day. The Ukrainian army destroyed 11 Russian tanks, 27 armored combat vehicles, 40 artillery systems, one air defense system, one aircraft, 45 UAVs, one cruise missile, 71 vehicles and tankers and four special equipment between May 22nd to 23rd. group of U.S. congressmen call on Pentagon to allow Ukraine to attack targets in Russia. The U.S. House of Representatives Intelligence Committee issued an appeal from both parties to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin to authorize Ukraine to attack targets in Russia and to expand Ukrainian F-16 fighter training. According to House Intelligence Committee Chairman Michael Turner, Ukraine should be permitted to strike critical targets in Russia under specific conditions. Lawmakers feel Ukrainians are unable to properly defend themselves due to the Biden administration's strategy, so it must be changed. Ukrainian officials have expressed grave concerns stating that the situation is worse than ever. The United States should authorize Ukraine to use weapons capable of striking targets within Russia under certain circumstances, train additional Ukrainian F-16 pilots, and bolster Ukraine's air defense systems, Turner said. The letter signed by 13 congressmen on the 21st of May reads, Our Ukrainian allies are requesting permission to use certain weapons provided by the United States to conduct operations on strategic targets inside Russian and Russian-controlled territory. It is essential the Biden administration allows Ukraine's military leaders an ability to conduct a full spectrum of operations necessary to respond to Russia's unprovoked attack on their sovereign land. There remains a critical need for a substantial number of trained pilots to operate these aircraft as the F-16 fighter jets become available to Ukraine. Graduating 12 Ukrainian pilots is simply insufficient. Ukraine is at war and slots for Ukraine must be prioritized over other foreign countries. Lawmakers also point out that Kyiv is asking for at least seven additional Patriot systems to protect large urban areas. We ask that you work with us to expedite resources as our friends in Ukraine continue to defend their territory against Russia's brutal assault and aggression. Several Democratic representatives signed the letter, including Jim Himes, Brendan Boyle, Andre Carson, and Jason Crow.